lot of singers, it's easy to get an idea of their personality from the lyrics of the songs that they're singing. But in your case, you don't write the lyrics. No, Bernie Torvin writes all the lyrics. How did this come about? Uh, we just met through an advert in a, in a music, British musical paper. I was playing in a band and I just wanted to get out because I'd done it for four years and it was a, getting a bit of a drag. And uh, it was a record company out, sort of advertising for new talent and songwriters. So I went up there and said, oh, I need a lyric writer. And Bernie had written in and we sort of teamed up like that. Very sort of funny way of meeting. Have you ever written songs you saw? Um, in the past, before I met Bernie, yeah. Uh, but they were only about three or four, and they were very bad. <laughs> How does it work? Bernie is miles away from London. He writes the lyrics and then sends them to you. Uh, yeah, he usually writes his lyrics back in Lincolnshire, but he sort of comes down to London a lot. I mean, like, he lived in London for the last three years, but he's now he's bought a house in Lincolnshire, been moving up there. Uh, but uh, he just gives them to me, and that's the last year of a season. I'm not a sort of songwriter that sits down at the piano every day and sort of churns it out from nine till five. I just, I know when I'm going to write a song. I just get a feeling that I'm going to write a song on it. I always do if I'm sort of in that mood. And we don't really write that many songs, say about 20 a year. So uh, I just know. And you know. sometimes you'd have a melody ready for a song. No, never, 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 never had a melody. Again, I'm too lazy, but I don't like, you know, we found a very ideal way of working in it and we just keep to it. What was the big break then? Uh, well, the, the, the thing that really happened for us, we sort of, things happened gradually until we went to America for the first time. And we played the Troubadour Club in Los Angeles, and which holds 250 people. And after the first, it just happened on the first night. And next day we got incredible press reviews and it just spread across America and the album went soaring up into the charts. And it just happened from there. We happened in America first before we happened in England. Does this surprise you that you had to leave England, go overseas before you were recognised back uh, here? It is. Well, I wasn't ready for it. I mean, I thought we might be quite successful in America, but never as successful as that. It was just so happened so quickly. 